today let us discuss about lysosomes and spherosome lysosomes are membrane bound tiny bags filled with digestive enzymes they are concerned with internal cellular digestion the organelles were first discovered by dave in 1955 these organelles can destroy a cell by the release of the enzymes present in it and hence they are called suicidal bags lysosomes are common in plants whereas they are rarely present in plant cells they are common in animal cells but they are rarely present in plant cells the size of a lysosome ranges from 0.2 to 2.8 microns they are dense bodies or they are something like granular bodies with a membrane and the membrane is filled with enzymes the dense particles present within a lysosomes are hydrolytic enzymes the phosphatases all the enzymes present within lysosomes are hydrolytic enzymes the inner content of a lysosome is called acid matrix and lysosomes are single membrane bounded so lysosomes are single membrane bounded structures they contain inner matrix the inner matrix is composed of hydrolytic enzymes since the enzymes are present within lysosome in order to prevent the self digestion of membranes or in order to prevent the digestion of lysosome membranes by the hydrolytic enzymes present it in it certain compounds called stabilizers are present in the lysosomal membranes these stabilizers prevent the digestion of the membrane by the lysosomes lytic enzymes the stabilizers are cholesterol cortisol cortisone heparin etc so only in the absence of these stabilizers the lysosomal membranes will be disintegrated and the enzyme will be released to the cytoplasm there are also some molecules which destabilize the membrane or they will drop the activity of stabilizers and such molecules are called labelizers or they are called destabilizers which includes progesterone testosterone estradiol ubiquinone vitamin a vitamin k etc within the lysosome the enzymes are electrostatically bind with acid groups of the membrane proteins and hence they are remaining inactive this is the most accepted theory within the lysosome the enzymes are electrostatically binded to acidic groups and hence they are inactive and the inactive form of an enzyme within the lysosome are called enzyme latency or latent enzymes coming to the chemical nature of the membrane the membranes are lipoproteinaceous unit membranes and the lysosome membrane has an atp dependent proton pump and and they use the energy released by atp hydrolysis and this atp dependent proton pump pump h plus into the matrix of the mitochondria so that an ideal acidic ph that is ph 5 is maintained within the lysosome the proteins in the lysosome membrane are glycosylated with sugar residues and though we are telling the lysosomes are having an oval shape they are polymorphic structures 
when we learn their structure in different cell or different cells different types of cells the main function of lysosome is digestion depending on the stages of digestion lysosomes are classified into four types upon formation that is when lysosome are seen in a cell with matrix inside surrounded by a membrane or an integral lysosome such a lysosome is called a primary lysosome that is the basic structure where it is having a membrane and in that membrane there is presence of enzymes and the enzymes present in primary lysosomes are acid hydrolysis and the primary lysosomes are also called storage granules because they store lot of enzymes as we all know the function of lysosome is digestion so a solid or a liquid particle enters a cell or a solid or liquid particle pinosome or phagosome present within the cell will be digested with the help of these primary lysosomes so when a primary lysosome is fused with a phagosome or phenosome they are called heterophagosomes when a primary lysosome binds with a phagosome they are called secondary lysosomes or heterophagosomes these secondary lysosomes are also called heterolysosomes and many a time this lysosome will disintegrate within the cell and damage the host cell itself this kind of a lysosome is called autophagic like vacuoles they are also called autolysosomes and finally after so as we discussed now a lysosome will come and bind with a phagosome or a pinosome the digestion will take place the disintegrated particles will migrate from the lysosomal membrane to the cytoplasm the remaining content which are being undigested will be stored as a body so the after fusion of or after digestion of the heterophagosome the remaining contents are stored in a membrane and they are seen in the cytoplasm they are called residual bodies these are different types of lysosome based on their digestion stages so you can see this diagram an endosome or a phag a particle will migrate into the cell and it will be fused with a lysosome the simple lysosome present within a cell are called a primary lysosome when they fuse with a body or a digestion particle they are called a secondary lysosome they are called heterolysosome then the residue residual body is called telolysosomes and the when a body disintegrate itself or it, when it disintegrate the cell itself that is called autolysosomes these are the different types of lysosomes lysosomal stages the lysosomes containing enzymes or the lysosomal enzymes are collectively called hydrolysis because they do hydrolytic reaction background breakdown of larger molecules most of the lysosomal enzyme functions in acid medium hence they are called acid hydrolysis all enzymes are not included in a single lysosomes though we are telling like lysosomes are containing lot of hydrolysis like nucleases proteases glycosidases lipases phosphatases sulfases and phospholipases all these enzymes will not be present in a single lysosomes but they will be distributed in different kinds of lysosome or uh, some lysosome will be having a couple of enzyme the remaining lysosome will be having a couple of enzymes <coughs> coming to the origin of lysosome the vacuoles formed by plasma membrane during pinocytosis or cell drinking will get up enzyme activities and change to lysosome the vacuoles within a cell will get will be stored or will be storing enzymes and will later transformed to a lysosome the second one is the golgi bodies will produce the vacuoles 
and into the vacuole when secretory products like enzymes are accumulated they will become the lysosome so lysosomal membranes are formed from golgi apparatus third one is the granular or rough endoplasmic reticulum are also capable of producing vesicles and these vesicles are forming lysosome this is the third theory these are the three theories regarding origin of lysosomes as we discussed before the functions of lysosome include heterophagy digesting other bodies autophagy digesting self during the metamorphosis of a larvae there are different cells need to be digested this is called autolysis and this autolysis is by lysosomes and also extracellular digestion the particle present out of the cell can also be digested with the help of lysosome these are the common functions of lysosome and though there are actual or, or exact lysosomes are not present in plant cells the plant cells also contain some kinds of lysosome and the lysosomes present in the plant cells are called as spherosomes or oleosomes spherosomes or oleosomes and these are also organelles bounded by a single membrane and they are concerned with storage and synthesis of lipid the organelles are first discovered by perner and the these organelles are also arising from endoplasmic reticulum and surrounded by a half unit membrane it have only half portion a single half unit membrane unit membrane with phospholipid monolayer having polar head towards cytosol and hydrophobic tail towards the inside so it's a half unit membrane the here the membrane is stabilized by proteins called oleosins and hence the organelles were given the name oleosomes the 98% of spherosomes contain lipid and the remaining 2% is proteins and these organelles can be identified within a cell with the help of sudan dye the oleosomes or spherosomes are abundantly present in endosperm cells of oil seeds they are spherical or over oval in shape apart from lipases they also contain protease ribonuclease and phosphatase that is the reason why they are called plant lysosomes so what now we discussed now is the structure and functions of lysosome and the plant variant of lysosomes thanks